Ray Minkowski sitting in FitWorks Hybrid Training Gym in DeKalb, Illinois. If you got questions, by all means, ask. We had some good questions yesterday, and we got some awesome questions last night, early today, by social media. Some of them we're actually going to share and answer in this video. Some of them we're going to save for a date in the future. Uh, pursuit of perfection and how it can damage your progress and outright paralyze you on the road to accomplishing anything in life. And that's true of health, wellness, weight loss, fitness, it could be a career, it could be obtaining a degree. For example, how many times have you heard somebody say, well, I'm gonna lose a little weight before I go to the gym. I'm gonna get in shape before I go to the gym. Or I'm gonna wait for the right time and I'm gonna sign up for the gym. Or here's another one, and this is a slightly different way to look at pursuit of perfection. How many people, or how many times have you personally said, well, I need to try and find the perfect time to work out. Well, if the perfect time to work out, and by the way, for most humans, it's probably within an hour of the lunch time, no matter what time zone you're in, so somewhere around 1 p.m. or 1,300 hours, is probably going to be the best time to actually exercise. You're gonna be most awake, you're gonna be most alert, so on and so forth. So that's the perfect time. Well, guess what? Most adults, are at work at 1 p.m. or 1300 hours. And if they're not at work and they work third shift, they're sleeping. So even though that's the perfect time, it's unrealistic. If you're waiting to be able to come in at one o'clock, get your workout in, congratulations, you're gonna wait forever. You're never gonna accomplish your goals. In fact, you're probably not gonna get started because you're always waiting for the perfect time. Um, personally, perfect time, I wrote this book nine, 10 years before it was actually published and available in print. Now, I wrote the book, it's Eat By Color, I wrote the book to help other people. So for nine or 10 years, while I waited to the perfect time to get the book into production, I wasn't helping anybody. Same thing with the new book. Now this is actually a proof of the print version of our new exercise galore book. Um, it's awesome, it's cutting edge, not from the content, content's part of it, but we're doing a lot of stuff digitally that's never been done with books of any type, certainly not with exercise books. So when this comes out, you're gonna to wanna to check it out, but I can proof it and go through iteration, iteration, iteration. It's never gonna be perfect. And if I keep chasing perfect, you'll never be able to get your hands on this. So again, as it applies to you, it's no different than me, it's no different than anything in life. Stop waiting for perfect, get going. And by the way, you're never gonna reach perfect anyways Learn to enjoy the process. Learn to celebrate progress. It's kind of like the old saying, the journey is always greater than the end, right? Thinking about going on vacation, getting excited is oftentimes more enjoyable than actually finding yourself on vacation. Now, quite other questions we got. Um, cardio versus weights, which is better? Hands down, flat out, no comparison. You are going to get a greater return on your time spent weight training than you are doing cardio. So if you're pressed for time and you have to pick weights or cardio, pick weights. As long as you're doing an intelligent weight training program, there's three workouts in Eat By Color, there's two killer workouts in the new Exercise Galore. As long as you're following a program like that and getting the weight training in, you're gonna get much greater benefits much faster than you will from doing cardio. Cardio is almost a waste of time. Okay, so if you have to make a choice all day, weights over cardio. If you can only do one and not the other, always pick weights. Cardio is not gonna get it done. Um, why do so many gyms have so much cardio? Tim, go ahead and get our cardio section of it. Why do we have all of that? Because the industry has never taught you how to, Tim, get the functional training. The industry has never taught you how to use all that stuff. And guess what? You can probably walk, you can probably ride a bike, so if the industry throws a bunch of treadmills, a bunch of bikes, guess what? They don't have to teach you anything and they have stuff you can use. The fact that it's not gonna help you reach your goals is a whole other story, um, which is why we have epidemic levels of heart disease, diabetes, obesity, yet we have more gyms than we've ever had. Um, fasted cardio, I've gotten this one twice this week. I got it by text. I got it by message on Facebook. And actually I had a conversation in the gym, so I guess I got it three times this week. What about fasted cardio? Do I need to do it? No. And I know some of the zealots and the 
gurus and the coaches and the so-called physique experts. Yes. We had a question, how do I get abs? How do you get abs? Um, first of all, if you can sit upright or stand tall with your shoulders back and your chest up and out, you have abs. Whether or not you can see the six pack muscle, the rectus abdominis, is a direct result of decisions you make about food, most specifically in your own kitchen. If you want abs, you've got to take care of the food side of things and probably the, in, in, okay, so you got to take care of nutrition. Step two is your nutrition approach has to be one that you can stick with. Otherwise, you're going to get abs and you're going to get ripped and you're going to lose them. Eat by color. It's 20 bucks. Go to eatbycolor.com. I will send you a signed copy. You saw our video yesterday. You, you know that I way over ordered books because I didn't thoroughly check my storage room. If you get this, it'll get you on the path to getting abs. Anything else? So fasted cardio. On the surface, hey, if I wake up, I haven't eaten since before bed, my stomach is digested, all of the calories are food that I ate the day before. If I jump up, do cardio, my body's gonna have to burn fat for energy. Where do I get the book from? Eatbycolor.com. So you can go to eatbycolor.com. I will send you a signed copy for $20 plus shipping. I believe it's $5.05 for flat rate shipping and any applicable tax. Or you can go to amazon.com where I believe it's on retail right now for around 25. Um, so fast is cardio. When you get up in the morning, the theory is, or the idea is, because you haven't eaten, the body's gonna have to burn fat to provide energy to do the cardio except it doesn't work that way. There's one school of thought that says that. There's another school of thought that says your body is not gonna metabolize adipose tissue from doing cardiovascular activity on an empty stomach first thing in the morning until the body starts to see an appreciable amount of amino acids in the bloodstream. At which point the body says, I'm burning too much muscle, let's burn fat. And that usually happens long after the person has actually quit doing cardio or it happens around 45 or 50 minutes when they're finishing doing the cardio. Okay, the body's built to survive. And when we think in terms of dollars and cents, muscle's expensive, fat's free. So if you do fasted cardio, the body wants to cut expenses, get rid of muscle, and keep the fat. Why? Because it costs calories and nutrients, vitamins and minerals, micronutrients, to maintain the, the lean tissue. You need nothing to keep the fat. Okay, so it's a matter of economy. If we think in terms of dollars and cents, the body wants to cut expenses. Next question, how do I get a bigger butt? I know it's weird, but I have a small butt. So how do, so how do I get a bigger butt? Um, believe it or not, we've had that question before. By far, in research, scientific data, EMG data actually confirms this. Barbell hip thrusters, or if you do hip thrusters on a machine, you can check out youtube.com slash fitworks with the Z as in zebra decalb. So youtube.com slash fitworks decalb. We have a video where we show how to do a barbell hip thruster. By far the best exercise to train the glutes. If you have access to, Tim, if you can get a, a view of the free motion um, leg extension machine, it's gonna be a great hip extension machine. It's gonna train hamstrings, glutes, and erectors. Great glute exercise. Lunges, step down lunges, again off of youtube.com slash fitworks um, Great exercise, you can do the lunges with dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, combination, one arm dumbbell, one arm kettlebell. You can do them walking forward, walking backward, backward. Another great glute exercise, barbell squats with a full range of motion where you're actually going to break parallel or 90 degrees at the knee. Another great glute posterior chain exercise. The king confirmed by data and what we've seen in the gym, hands down, hip thrusters, barbell hip thrusters. Other questions? So fasted cardio is not necessary. There's a better way. We prep physique athletes for the last 16 years that have done well locally, nationally, in bodybuilding, women's bikini, women's figure, men's physique, women's physique, and they do a big goose aid for fasted cardio. In fact, many of our clients do no cardio, okay? So back to that ab question, you heard me right. No cardio, and the other thing is a lot of our clients do very little to no hip flexion. So no crunches, no sit-ups, no t any type of crunch or sit-up. 
It all comes down to nutrition. It all comes down to the right resistance training. Yes. When will the exercise for lower bulk be ready? Well, well, if I can get out of the way of perfect, be happy with it as it sits, all 300 pages, pull the trigger and let it go, you could possibly have it in the next few days. Realistically, it's probably going to be available on Kindle maybe as soon as Monday or Tuesday. And, and you, the preferred method of delivery is going to be digital because there's a lot of interactive digital features in the book that really work the way we intended them to on Kindle, Nook, or iBook. But Kindle is probably going to be somewhere mid next week, print to follow, Nook to follow, iBook to follow. You can, if you follow us on Facebook, just look for Eat By Color. You follow me on Twitter or Instagram or here on The Scope, at Eat By Color, hashtag Eat By Color. As soon as it's available, you're going to know. Other questions from anybody? Did we get any hearts today? Who crushed it with hearts? None? Just a few hearts? Come on, where's the love? We're working hard. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. Hit that heart button. There we go. Now we're crushing it. Um, so fasted cardio, back to finish up my topic. It's not necessary. In fact, there's some research or data that would suggest it could be counterproductive and that's based off now remember we we own and operate a full-on commercial gym we've worked with hundreds of people in the last year alone thousands over the last few years and we prep physique athletes and we also promote two bodybuilding contests um, we prep physique competitive bodybuilding figure bikini competitors for the last 16 years and it's just not necessary in fact if we get nutrition eat by color right we get the weight training right many clients need no cardio at all anybody have anything else if you think it's something you're watching this later you're not watching it live you're watching it on youtube.com slash fitworks checking it out on facebook push your question we'll answer it for an upcoming video